hello everyone and welcome to my channel today i am bringing you the newest collection from wet and wild and it is their rebel rose collection Yay! we have a lot of products to talk about so if you're ready and i'm ready so let's get started before we get started i do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there and in case you're not familiar with me yet my name is melissa leah garrett and i'm a cruelty free makeup and beauty reviewer I'm a makeup enthusiast, not a makeup artist, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below that you can check out. So, the reason why there was no Tuesday video and why this video is getting up stupid late is because I have been waiting for this box to show up. Wet and Wild's shipping is just horrendous to begin with, no matter what you get. I think I waited two weeks to get this box in. It was supposed to come in Monday. Then it said it was going to come in on Tuesday. Didn't come in till Thursday. <sighs> but I do have the makeup box from the Rebel Rose collection. I did not purchase any of the skincare items um, from this collection because as you guys know, Rose skincare, anything tends to irritate my skin really bad. So I didn't purchase anything of the skincare line. So I will um, link some channels down below in the description bar of some of my favorite YouTubers who have um, reviewed the skincare part of this collection so you can check them out. But let's just go ahead and dive right into this box. Okay, so this is the makeup only box from Wet n Wild's new Rebel Rose Limited Edition collection. Um... I do like the packaging. The packaging is like super gorgeous. It really does carry that Rebel Rose essence. I'm sorry if you hear anything in here. The stuff's rattling around. Inside this box, we have three eyeshadow quads, a cream blush. You're probably all like, Melissa, that is black. Just you wait and see. We have a blush brush, an eyeshadow brush, two matte liquid cat suits and two high shine liquid cat suits to try out. Um, I did do this look today with the quads and the Too Faced matte chocolate chip palette because unfortunately these did not have a base shade or a decent transition shade for me to use. Um, you guys know I'm like stupid picky when it comes to that. So yeah, but I guess we could go ahead and get started on talking about the eyeshadow quads. Okay, so there are only three eyeshadow quads in the collection. They didn't have any others that they didn't put into the box because with some of their collections, they do tend to um, make extra products that they don't put into the box. I do believe the last two or three collections, they did that. Um, but these are the only three eyeshadow quads. This one right here is called Secret Garden Rendezvous. This one is Bed of Roses, and this one is House of Thorns. I did use all three. I did use shades from all three of them to do my eye look today. Let's go ahead and swatch the first quad. It is Secret Garden Rendezvous. I do have to say I really do love this packaging. It's got like this lace print on it. It is super pretty, and I love how the pans are printed as a rose that is really really nice i did use this shade right here on my eyes and i used this one on my brow bone and a little bit on my lid i did not use these two shades right here so let's go ahead and start swatching they don't have any shade names um at all these first two are like really really soft okay, this is what they look like on my finger Just one swipe swatches. There's no primer on my hand as always. Maybe two swipes. <laughs> there we go. Now you may see this shade right here and look, and it does look like it swatches patchy. 
it does go on a little bit patchy but it blends out beautifully i had no problems blending this shade out whatsoever and i did use this shade in my crease and on my lower lash line <laughs> there's another shade that looks just like it so but that is secret garden rendezvous and we are going to be taking swatches off today with the yes to blueberry makeup wax Okay, the next eyeshadow quad we have is Bed of Roses. Um, I did use, actually no, it was this shade I used in my crease and on my lower lash line. I knew it was a dark purple. <laughs> um, I did use this shade on my lid and I used this one on, no not this one, this one <laughs> to deepen up my look a little bit. So let's go ahead and swatch these. The first two feel really, really soft. So does this first matte. The second matte feels a little dry to me. That is what they look like on my finger. Look at that shine bouncing on my light. So pretty. Make sure my hand is dry. That is what they look like with one swipe. I'm going to go back and see if I can blend this out a little bit. I did have a hard time blending this shade, though. This one wasn't too bad to blend. And this shade right here is gorgeous. I actually do have footage I am going to show you guys of me doing this look. So you guys can see how... I was able to do this look and see how the shadows really did perform. But this shade was gorgeous on the lid. And especially once you wet the brush, it just makes the shadow just pop even more. It's a very beautiful shade. Okay, and the last eyeshadow quad we have is House of Thorns. I can't get this open. <laughs> I did use this shade right here as um, on top of my transition shade. And you're probably all like, Melissa, that looks a little dark. Just wait. <laughs> this green shade feels a little stiff. And you do get some kickback. This shade right here is super chalky and super hard. And so is this I so is this black. They just do not feel good at all whatsoever. There's a lot of kick up on this green shade. That's what they look like on my finger. <laughs> I don't think I'm really impressed with this green shade. Well, it's blending out. This shade right here. Like I said, how I put it on top of my transition shade because it does blend out to look very very light and then this black is just horrendous i do not like this black at all whatsoever as you see it's just patchy it's a hot mess and it just wants to stay put it is just not a good black at all whatsoever okay i am going to clean off my hand put the uh quads back and then we're going to talk about the blush Alrighty, now we are going to talk about the blush and you're like melissa that blush is black well it starts off black it is a cream blush and it's called rose in peace is that yeah rose in peace um it is like i said it is a cream blush and if you look really closely it does have like little specks of fine glitter in it but what this does is it looks black in the pan, but once you put it on your brush and put it on your cheek, it actually turns into a rosy color. I am wearing it today on my cheeks and I did record how I used it and it just, it really just blew me away. Because as you can see when you, when I swatch it, you can see that rosy color. It just doesn't swatch all that great. 
don't know if you guys can really tell. It dries down to a nice powdery finish. It's not too greasy and it's not too slick on the skin. And it does have like a little bit of a sheen to it. So it kind of gives you a little bit of like a healthy glow to it. I actually enjoyed this. I, I was pleasantly surprised on how good this blush was. Now, I'm going to talk about them later, but in order for you to use this blush, you're going to have to use the blush brush that came in with this set. All right, speaking of the brushes, let's go ahead and talk about those before we talk about the lips. There are two brushes in this collection. We have the eyeshadow brush and we have the blush brush. <laughs> I love how they made it look like a rose, but this eyeshadow brush... They executed the design wrong on this because the petals that are right here, unless you have like super big eye, uh, super big eyelids or you don't have hooded eyes, you're, you're not going to be able to use this. Um, because what happens is these petals right here catch on your eye and I had a time right here in my inner corner. Out here, I really didn't have an issue, but when I went into my inner corner to blend out my eyeshadow, I did have a time with these petals on there. If they had made this part just go down a little bit more, it would have been a perfect brush because it really does blend the shadow out really, really good. And it picks it up and it's nice and soft and it, it's really, it blends out, but it's just, the design is all wrong for it. Now, as I stated when I talked about the blush, in order to use it, you're going to need this. This is the uh, blush brush. And same as the eyeshadow brush, it looks like a rose. Now, the reason why I say that you're going to need this brush is because it is not, it's not too dense like most blush brushes can be. So when you pick up the product, pick up the cream blush and pat it onto your skin it's actually going to give you a nice finish and it won't be all like poof right on your face as opposed to a more dense blush brush may so i think that in order for you to use the cream blush you're gonna need this blush brush i used it to put the blush on and it worked really good it just and it fit my big cheeks it just distributed the product beautifully and perfectly and or if you just want a new blush brush to begin with i would highly recommend this one this one was really good all right i am going to put these brushes away and then we're going to talk about the lippies all righty last we are going to talk about the lippies we have two matte liquid cat suits and then we have two high shine liquid cat suits and you're probably wondering melissa what the what is a uh, high shine liquid cat suit basically it's like a gloss but it's not as sticky as a gloss it's not real goopy like a gloss it's very comfortable on the lips um i am wearing the shade um deviant damsel in the matte line and the shade petal poison in the high shine line and i think it's just a beautiful combination it just wears so great and the best thing about using this on top of their matte liquid lipstick is be is that it gives you your hydration back into your lips because sometimes these liquid cat suits can be rather drying um but let's go ahead and swatch these two like i said this one is deviant damsel and there she is right there. She is super opaque. I did not have any issues with patchiness with this shade. And I was thoroughly impressed with it. Because some shades like this, they do tend to be a little bit patchy or streaky once you put them on. But this right here, it was beautiful. It just went on the lips so perfectly. And it does. this shade doesn't dry your lips. I have found with some of the... um from my personal experience with the liquid cat suits some shades may be really drying and some shades are really good this one is actually really really good um the second um, matte liquid lipstick is kiss of death just a nice 
deep, rusty brown. It is just so gorgeous. Okay, the first high shine liquid cat suit is Petal Poison that I did use on top of Deviant Damsel. These are also super opaque as well. As you see, look. <laughs> <laughs> super opaque has a nice shine to it feels really comfortable they're not sticky at all this is the first time i actually used the high shine liquid lipsticks to be honest um and then this shade is called bud romance such a beautiful shade i like how with they chose these four shades because they can go together excuse me as far as putting one of the high shines on either one of the matte liquid lipsticks. So I think they just, they really did a good job picking out these shades for this collection. I am going to clean all this up. I'm going to roll the footage of how I did my eye look plus how I applied the blush. And I'll be right back with my final thoughts and prices. Alrighty, now it's time to talk about my final thoughts and surprises. Um, they do have three separate boxes that you can purchase from Wet n Wild. You can't purchase the box, box anywhere else but Wet n Wild. They have the box that is called their PR box. It has the skincare plus the makeup in it. And that one is $59.99. The skincare box just only has the skincare, which includes the rose oil the toner primer serum the lip scrub and the jelly balm for $24.99 and then you have this box right here which is the makeup only box for $39.99 any anything over $25 you get free shipping on wet and wild site all right so got that down let's go ahead and talk about my final thoughts on these products in this box okay the eyeshadow quads I am not a big fan of this one, the House of Thorns um, quad. I think the only shade that is decent enough is this one up here in the corner. I The green one is okay. It's just it produces a lot of kickback and a lot of fallout. The black is super bad, and the pink one is okay. I mean, it blends out nice, but... You could probably find another shade like that in a palette that you already have. So I would pass on this one. However, I did really enjoy these two, um, Secret Garden Rendezvous and Bed of Roses. I really do like these ones. Um, you have your combinations of cool and warm tones in here, and it's just, they are just super, super gorgeous. Um, yeah. I would recommend these two. The quads do go for $4.99 a piece. The blush. I personally like the blush, but I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Um, I like how the color is not super pink because you guys know I don't like super pink blushes. Um, and using it with the actual Wet n Wild blush brush, it just looks beautiful on the skin. Um, but like I said, I like this blush, but like, but it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. So it's up to you if you want to try it out or not. I personally like it. 
and this goes for four dollars and ninety nine cents the eyeshadow brush I'm not a fan of just for the fact that the petals on it just tug at the inner corner of my eyes if I didn't have that issue I would love it um, it's just okay because it does pick up product really well and it does blend out beautifully it just hits my inner corner wrong and I'm afraid that it's just gonna like give me a rash or something from too much tugging or whatever <laughs> I really do like this blush brush um it is nice and soft it is dense uh, I mean it's not too dense and it actually picks up that cream blush really really well um these two brushes are vegan by the way the eyeshadow quads are not vegan and the blush is vegan um you can purchase these either together or separately they do have what is called the brush kit for $12.99 or you can purchase the blush brush separately for $7.99 or the eyeshadow brush separately for $7.99 which is I don't know why this brush is $7.99 should have been no more than $3.99 that's just me. All right. And the last items I have are the lippies. I absolutely love these lippies. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. They, the mattes are not too drying like some of the mattes tend to be. The High Shine Liquid Lipsticks, both of them go for either one of them. They're just really, really good. And I really think I'm going to try out some more of the High Shine Lipsticks. Um, to see how I like them because I really do like these two shades. You can wear these by themselves or on top of the um, matte liquid lipstick. And both of these retail for $4.99. The rose oil that is in the skincare box is $7.99. The toner is $7.99. And so is the primer serum. The lip scrub is $3.99. I don't like Wet n Wild's lip scrubs anyways because the particles are too chunky. So even though I wasn't going to get it because it, you know, it has rose in it, I still wouldn't have gotten it anyways because the particles are too chunky. And the Jelly Balm is $3.99. Like I stated before, I am going to link some channels down below in the description box um, to for you guys to check out reviews on the skincare part of this collection because... I wasn't going to do it. So, yeah. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget to pick up my glitter palette with Texas House of Glitters. We all know she is super party and she looks like this. Don't forget that these shades are exclusive only to this palette. You cannot purchase these by themselves. So if you want to get on the glitter goodness that is Hubster, Mama, Sassy Pants, and Bat Squad, you're going to have to pick this bad boy up. I do have a discount code that you can save 15% not only on this palette, but anything off Texas House of Glitters. And it is right here at the bottom of the screen. I do not earn any money at all whatsoever with this discount code. It is just there for you guys to save some money. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Garrett, on Snapchat as melissalea1223, and on Instagram as Melissa Garrett. Come on over. We have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account. So if you see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, if that subscribe button is red, it's the wrong color. You need to change it. And don't forget to share this channel out to everyone as well. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> I love you all so much, and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye that bearded fella go. <laughs> I really like this collection. What in the did a really good job with this one. Just minus that one quad. <laughs> I just want to take some scissors and just go shh, 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 right now. <laughs> oh, I need to give my face some loving. It needs a face mask. Really bad. <laughs>